standard 7th subject maths chapter 12 perimeter and area practice set 45 in the previous practice set you learned about how to find perimeter of a square or a rectangle now in this practice set we are going to learn about area let's recall area of square you must remember this formula since you have already learned about it area of square is equal to side multiplied by side is equal to side square area of rectangle is equal to length into breadth is equal to l into b area is always measured in square meters square centimeter square kilometers etc so in order to solve practice set 45 we will be using the formula for area of square and area of A rectangle. Do write these two formulas neatly in your book. Practice set forty-five. Question one: If the side of a square is twelve centimeter, find its area. So we have got the side of a square. So let's have a look at the solution. Area of square formula is equal to side square. So now substitute the side. Side is twelve. So twelve square. Twelve square means twelve into twelve, one forty-four square centimeter. Therefore, the area of the square is one forty-four square centimeter. Question two: If the length of a rectangle is fifteen centimeter and breadth is five centimeter, find its area. Solution. Now here we are. We have to find the area of rectangle. So write the formula for area of a rectangle. Which is equal to length into breadth is equal to substitute the values for length and breadth. Length is fifteen into breadth is five. Fifteen into five gives you seventy-five square centimeter. Therefore, the area of the rectangle is seventy-five square centimeter. So, in the question, you have to check if the length and breadth is given. It is rectangle. and you have to find the area of rectangle you will use the particular formula which is given to you area of rectangle is equal to length into breadth so you have to keep in mind that area and perimeter are two different things so when area is asked you have to write the appropriate formula question 3 The area of a rectangle is hundred and two square centimeter. If its length is seventeen centimeter, what is its perimeter? So here, to find the perimeter of rectangle, we will have to first find its breadth. Area is already given. Length is given. Can we find the breadth? Yes, by using the formula, area of rectangle is equal to length into breadth. Substitute the value for area, which is one hundred and two. Is equal to length is seventeen into breadth. We don't know, so we write breadth as it is. Now we work out breadth is equal to hundred and two divided by seventeen. Seventeen goes to the other side and gets divided, which is equal to six centimeter. So perimeter of rectangle is equal to now a formula for perimeter of rectangle two times length plus breadth. Okay, so in this sum, we are using area of rectangle formula first, and then perimeter of rectangle formula. Perimeter of rectangle formula you have already used it in previous practice set, which is practice set forty four. So two times length plus breadth substitute the values. Two times length is seventeen plus six is breadth. So add first seventeen plus six is twenty three. So two into twenty three gives you. Forty-six centimeter. Therefore, the perimeter of rectangle is forty-six centimeter. So, in this particular question, first we have found out the breadth by using area of rectangle formula, and then we use the perimeter of rectangle formula to find its perimeter. Question number four: If the side of a square is tripled, how many times will its area be as compared to the area of the original square? So first we will have to find the area of original square, and then we will write the area of the 
square whose side is tripled means three times. So let's look at the solution. Let the side of the square be a. Therefore, area of a square is equal to side square is equal to a square. Since the side is a, we write area of square as a square. Now, new side of the square is three times that of the original square. So, 3 into a is 3a. This is the side of new square. So, now the area of the square will be 3a, the whole square. 3 into 3 is 9. 9a square is the answer for the new area of the square. But a square, a square is what? Area of a square. That means 9 into area of original square. So, if the side of a square is tripled, its area will become 9 times the area of the original square. So, this way we have completed our practice set 45. Do practice the sums well in your book. Stay safe, keep learning and thank you.